uh, thanks for watching my first video. Um, so, <clears throat> just a quick introduction. I've been driving trucks in the outback uh, in Western Australia, carting iron ore uh, from a mine back to a port in a town called Geraldton. Uh, the business I work for, they've moved me back to the Eyre Peninsula, which is in South Australia, and I'm now carting grain, as that's where the majority of the work is at the moment. So I'm doing it in a triple road train configuration uh, with a gross weight of 108 tonnes in this truck. Um, so that enables a load of about 88 tonnes. So I'm at a si I'm at a silo in the Air Peninsula this morning. So we've uh, this is like the home base. So we've parked in the lineup yesterday in order to get our spot for today. Um, the trailers I'm going to go and lift them down because we lifted them up. Because as you can tell, it's uh, a bit wet in Australia today, hence the wet hair and the raincoat. And I'm going to walk around and make sure. All the trailers are still attached, everything's working, all the lights are working, airlines attached, hydraulics, uh, lift the trailers down, and yeah, then we'll crack on with some paperwork. First things first, in order to lift the trailer down on this lorry, well the trailers, um, obviously you've got to start the engine. And then you've got to lift the revs, so you do that lift the revs up to about six seven hundred and then you turn the PTO on which enables the truck hydraulics to activate and then we've got a special little remote here which can be used to lift it up and down so I'm gonna hop out and do my walk around check now paperwork and all done uh, for you UK drivers out here I thought I'll give you a bit of a tour because um, the cab of this will be there'll be some fundamental changes uh, to stuff we don't have or need in the UK and vice versa with Australia so the first one being is everyone would expect your tachograph to be up there no this is your UHF radio so I'm currently tuning to channel 40 which is a generic channel for sort of all trucks within a certain kilometre radius of yourself. I'm going to change it to channel 32 now, which is the site channel here, which is where you can take instructions from the Weybridge staff um, and uh, other drivers and the loader who's operating you. So when it comes to loading up your trailer, as he puts the weights in, he'll ask you to move forward I and mean, move forward trailers, etc. etc. Um, apart from that, obviously, normal layout with the Scania. So this is a Scania R620 V8. So it's quite powerful. Uh, you need it really to pull the road trains. Um, nothing more with this kind of weight, to be honest. Like you see a few 770s uh, about, but that's more for show than anything, I think. Uh, it's pretty good. It's got Apple CarPlay when I actually plug my phone in. Uh, apart from that, um, it's not got a lifting axle, which I found quite strange at first. Um, but this truck will never do anything else apart from heavy work so there was no need for it to be bought with one um but it's got you know it's got the dual suspension so it can lift up at the front of the unit and the back of the unit in australia they call it the prime mover uh, which took me a bit of a while to get used to but i am getting used to it now uh, obviously you've got all your hydraulic controls there brake hold lane assist um lane departure sorry uh, light controls differential lock uh, moving your axle, that that moving your weight, that you'd never really need that to be honest uh, in this job. Um, just because if you get stuck, you, you're buggered anyway. Um, I mean, obviously you've got your microphone. Now trucks are fitted with EPIRBs as well, out here because these trucks do remote work in the outback, so you can be hundreds of kilometres from the nearest little town. So it's quite important to have uh, an EPIRB on board. Um, and yeah. The old trusty microphone and something called cell figo which boosts cell signal uh, mobile signal wherever you are and obviously comes with two fridges so always get your luncheon and this little thing here a little australia badge love it are we sampling today yes Thanks. 
EP bulk 014 on the bridge. Forty point seven on the way. All good, I can say it. Forty point seven. Thank you. Thank you very much. guys so we're all weighed on making our way round no to the bunker so we're loading up wheat grain today so I'll be loading up in the configuration of 25 in the rear trailer in the front trailer 20 in the middle and 22 in the back uh, now the bloke on the loader here is pretty good and he uh, he keeps it um, he keeps it pretty tight so you don't have to usually tip off um, you don't have to usually tip off just finding out whereabouts everyone's gone so yeah we're going down here yeah so you don't usually have to tip off um, much and if you do you're not usually much overweight it's pretty good they've got scales in the loaders as well but they're not always accurate despite being calibrated so I've been told that is might be a thing of pride I'm not sure so yeah, we're just moving up now, so driving in between the wheat and uh, barley bunkers. Gonna heat them mirrors up a bit, get rid of a bit of rain. So if you look over there, that truck there, which hasn't got its lights on, I don't know if he's noticed. Um, on the other loader. That's where you get weighed in, where we were just waiting. And then yeah. So I'm entering the queue, get loaded up and get out of here. I'll give you a shout when I'm on the road. So as you can see, we've got a couple of double road trains in front of us. There's the loader loading up. So you've got to take it nice and wide really so your rear trailers don't cut in. There's the first double road train getting loaded up. So these boys are a bit quicker than me because they've only got two instead of three. So just pulling on to um, the grain stand. So we've loaded up. Get the fuck off. It's a neutral. There we go. Brill. So yeah, we've loaded up. So the loader scales weren't working um, actually on the loader today. Um, so he's had to eyeball it. So we should have 25 ton in the front trailer, 20 ton in the middle, and 22 in the rear. Um, but he's sort of had to eyeball it, so we'll find out how much we're weighing uh, when we're on the weigh bridge. Uh, if it's within two tons of the max gross weight, I'd, uh, 
I'd be happy to uh, to go with that. If it's any less, I'll have to go back round and have a bit more because uh, otherwise it's you know too much wasted money uh, for the company really. If they're not getting the the full capacity, it's not really worth it. So yeah, so just uh, pulling up now through the bunkers. to whack the diff lock on back there because it was getting bogged down in the wheat so yeah the problem is they've got that much torque these they kind of dig themselves a hole if you start spinning so it's easier just to whack it on straight away and help yourself out before you uh, get stuck uh, one of my colleagues did learn that the hard way he told me so yeah he gave me a bit of advice there it gets quite sticky the uh, the grain, I think. So here we are, and they're in the Waybridge. See what we're weighing here. Oh, beautiful. 106, 7. That was bang on, that was lucky. Thanks very much. 106.7. Thank you, that's a 14 on the bridge. You're all right, mate. She'll slide out the bottom. So now we move on for sampling so there's a little hut around here where I close my tarpaulins on the truck I um, get sampled and uh, get my paperwork and then yeah we're off so I'll give you uh, a little shout again in a moment occasionally tarps get stuck and uh, you have to get them right down yourself Jobs are good. Huh? All right then guys, so we're on the way down to Port Lincoln Grain Terminal to tip off our load of wheat barley. Uh, not wheat barley, sorry, uh, wheat grain. On the right here is actually our depot and fuel yard up there. Um, so yeah, so we've got about a two hour drive um, down to Port Lincoln. Uh, so I'll settle into the journey and I'll pop the camera back on when I'm taking some of the tight roundabouts and there's a very steep gradient there which you have to use full engine brake and there's a very clever little system on the Scania down here which means if you go over a certain speed it'll just automatically apply the engine brake and keep, brake and keep you at a reasonable speed of your choice. Um, so yeah, so you have to cruise down that at about 25 kilometers an hour. Uh, and then after that the only little challenge is the roundabout and then yeah straight into the grain terminal um, and we'll tip off and that will be uh, my first video on tipping wheat uh, grain down at the terminal hi guys so we're approaching the tight little roundabout in Port Lincoln now in a normal semi-trailer or just a normal arctic like in the uk this roundabout would be absolutely fine it's actually pretty big pretty wide uh, but in a road train with your free trailers obviously your cutting is quite a lot more um, than in a normal truck except obviously you've got the dollies um, which which they, which work really well because they act like they're obviously another fifth wheel so it's almost like another unit another pivot point at the top it's hard to I don't know really quite know how to describe it um, but it means the turning circle is better than you'd imagine but still not brilliant um, I mean the cutting sorry so we'll wait for some traffic to pass and then you have to hit different points of the roundabout in order to uh, get 
in order to get your all your trailers round. So just waiting for a bit of space. There's a bit. Okay, so you first have to go out to this point in the roundabout. And then you have to go out to this point here and you have to skim as wide as possible all the way round. Now, just like a normal Arctic, you just go as wide as possible um, on the roundabout in order to keep it on. And then exit to leave, hit this bit here. And as you can see, you've got to bring all those trailers back in. And yeah, that is how you take a roundabout in a road train. So you just have to hit different points of the roundabout to make sure that you can get all your trail around. So we'll shortly be pulling into the Lincoln Grain Terminal. And yeah, we'll be tipping from there. Hi guys, so we're in Port Lincoln Grain Terminal. Uh, we're gonna get tipped. Um, there's just one truck ahead of us. It's been quite a big queue today, so I haven't uh, been too speedy really getting in and out, but yeah one truck truck in front of us is tipping its first trailer uh, and I think it's only a double so it'll only have another to go I mean yeah it's our turn uh, so I'll ask the man if I can film here hopefully he says yeah otherwise it'll be a bit of a shame but nah Okay guys, so unfortunately, you're not allowed to film in the tipping sheds, which is a shame, but is what it is. So as you can see, that shed we were tipping in actually used to be part of the railway. There's a whole railway that runs up the Air Peninsula. It used to do the grain, but it closed down. So sort of road trains took over the strain as it were. Uh, but yeah, so that's me with my first load tips. I'm now heading back up to a place called Lock to reload like I say two hour drive again so yeah gonna get weighed out uh, and get out of it as you can see over there there's a grain boat in that's the grain terminal over there how it all gets there and when yeah, it gets distributed all around the world so just a small cog in a big system but yeah gonna get weighed out anyway and head up back to lock just coming into the Waybridge area. <coughs> There's another double over there. Let's see if he'll give us a wave. Oh, I think he's looking at the GoPro thinking, who's this moron? So you've just got to indicate right in here because we got sent to another part of the complex. You have to actually sort of leave the main site then come back. So just checking for road trains on the left here. Good to go. Got ourselves a nice Western Star truck there. Good looking truck. And yeah, we're at the Waybridge. Alright, I'll be back with you when we weigh out, guys.